So the most important thing when you're working on a song is to figure out where your low end is coming from. This is probably the 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 culprit that uh, really will destroy your mix the fastest, having too much low end. Uh, when I say that, it's like your low end frequencies, your kick, your bass, your sub bass. Low end frequencies tend to be very large. 30 hertz needs something like 35 feet. I mean, that's that's a very long space in order for that that full wave to complete. So that does eat up a lot of room in terms of our sonic palette, what's going on within our song. So what we need to do is to make sure that uh, all of our elements, all of our different tracks, aren't um, contributing to that low end. You want to pick one or two devices, one or two tracks, like our kick and our sub, that's going to be the, the heaviness, the weight of our track. Everything else we can sort of carve out and remove a lot of that low end and uh, it will create clarity and, and definitely more punch over what's going on within our track. So I want to focus first on our kick drum. And I'm going to go through and add, uh, we can use the channel strip. Channel strip has EQ and compression built into it. So we'll add a little bit of compression. And I always pretty much start my the process of dealing with the compressor. So what I tend to do is turn up the ratio all the way. I want my attack and my release at their fastest, all the way to the left, and uh, our threshold just so, you know, it's not over compressing it. We still need to hear a little bit of it. But what I'm listening for is the rhythm of the compressor. A compressor makes your louder sound softer and your softer sounds louder. It's compressing this way. But uh, the way that we can shape the compressor and how it reacts, it's definitely a rhythmic thing.